Hey guys, Dorf Raven 2012 here, and I'm playing some Star Citizen for the PC. So I got invited to try out the weekend trial here for Star Citizen, and I gotta say, I'm really, really impressed. For starters, let's get something straight out of the way because everybody wants to know, oh, what are you running the game on right now? What's graphic settings? So as you guys can see here, I am running this on very high, which is the highest settings at the moment in the game, at 1360 by 768 because that's the max resolution uh, my TV uh, can display on. Well, it can go higher, but when I go higher, it looks really weird, like the screen goes smaller and you have these black bars around it. It just looks really fucked up. If I plug it in my living room in the other hand on that TV that sports full 1080p, I don't have that issue, but I'm playing this in my bedroom, laying on my bed, so yeah, there's that. And the game runs really, really well. Like, when I'm not using OBS, I'm getting 58 to 60 frames per second, which is pretty badass for running the scale max settings. With OBS, it's at 38 frames per second at the moment, which is also still pretty damn badass. I wasn't even sure that my graphics card was able to run this game at very high settings with a really good FPS at all, so that really makes me to think that this game could run on the consoles easily too, on the next gen console, well, aka current gen consoles, because this game has full control support, which I think is really badass. I was really happy about that because you guys know me, I love playing this, playing games with controllers in general. So I could imagine the PlayStation 4 and Xbox One being able to run this game at solid 720p with a solid 30 frames per second without any issue whatsoever. That's my belief anyway, if the development, uh, if the developers ever decide to release them on consoles, which would be badass because I am, by heart, a console gamer. So uh, yeah, Star Citizen, the most anticipated PC game out there for A, looking stunning, B, it's supposed to be this revolutionary space sim, uh, sim slash first person shooter, so you're able to have all these badass ships that you can customize, you can go inside the interior and customize the interior and so on and so forth and explore the vast uh, universe out there. So uh, yeah, let's check out some of the things that we can explore at the moment. Like this hangar door here, it opens up, which looks neat, but there's nothing really in here at the moment. They'll probably, like when the game gets out of alpha or whatever, it probably have a lot more in here. At the moment, this is just a hangar bay where you can check out your ships and stuff. Got some cool ass smoke over there. You can also interact with Fliss at the moment. Which, uh... Shows, like, a bunch of different ship models here that I don't have. Unless I can select them, I think. I don't think I can. Can I? Nope. That was the wrong button. Nah, I can't select, so I only get stuck with that one ship over there. So we, uh have paints, ships, weapons, and ammo, so this is where you basically customize your stuff if you uh, purchase some of the other ships. Like I said, I'm only here for the free weekend trial, but I'm definitely thinking about donating so I can uh, get some of the other ships and play this game even longer and keep uh, seeing its progress. I love the de I really love the graphical detail they put in this game and how well it runs. It really... I mean, it's so hard to believe. I played so many games this year that came out don't even look half as good as this game, and they run just god awful. Which is just such a shame. It really just shows how the game industry is really going down for PC gamers. I mean, a lot of PC gamers are like, oh, well, we're getting all these games now that are also on console. Yeah, we do, but let's face it, we might have better specs and stuff, but our games aren't running better most of the time unless we really go out with the highest of the high end tech, which is bullshit. In my opinion, if your PC specs are slightly better or better than the console specs, you should be able to run the game as well, or if not better than the console version, but that's just not the case. That would be the perfect world we've been living in where game developers actually give a fuck about porting console games to PC, which sadly, they don't. Which is another thing about this game that's so awesome, because this game was built, well, all games are built on the PC, but this was really intended for PC gamers. So you don't get any shitty little performance issues or whatever, and if you do, you know they'll get patched in the future. So, uh, yeah, I just love the detail they put into this game. It looks really stunning. So that's the ship we got at the moment for the free week a weekend trial. 
I'm not sure if we're going to have another free uh, weekend trial and they offer you another ship to try out. If they do, that would be pretty cool. I'd like to try a different ship out that has some interior I can walk into and explore. Because all these ships have different sizes and uh, different kind of, uh, what was it, uh, interiors and stuff that you can uh, walk in. Some have like living quarters and stuff, which is just badass. And you can have multiple people in them too, so some people can be on the gun turret, some people can just walk around the ship while you're escorting them some, to some kind of planet or whatever. So there's so much they can do with this game, and this game really has a lot of potential. But yeah, this is just stunning. And apparently you can build, uh, buy also a big-ass um, guild ship or whatever, where you can have other players park in their little... Uh, fighters or whatever ships they got into it so you can cruise in that giant ass guild ship which is also really fucking badass so if you have like these big ass clan fleet wars going on you have all these giant guild ships just flying in giving you a whole all out all, all, all out war uh, feeling so this is the ship we got right now reminds me a little bit of the uh, pelican from halo or the uh, little fighters from wing commander or even the ship from Aliens Colonial Marines has a kind of, not Colonial Marines, uh, just an Aliens in general. Ugh, Colonial Marines. Looks pretty sick. I like it. I like the detail they put into this too. Like, I love how you have this little ladder coming down so you can climb up on it instead of just spawning right inside of it like in most of the games. Like Battlefront, Battlefield, and so on and so forth. So that's pretty neat. You actually see your guy climbing up, which is also really cool. And this is what I love the most, like, you get a cockpit view, which I love in flight games in general. And just look at the detail in all this, this just looks stunning. And I love how the little hatchet's closing too, it's pretty badass. Gotta love that detail. Alright, so you have your PvP on here, which I can access until I purchase uh, the game or one of the additions of the game. So we're going to do the drone simulator. Uh, let's do... Well, we can only do... Or can I do that one too? Uh, oh, these are all the same ships. Or... I don't know. Uh, let's launch. So I think obviously in the full version, uh, the hangar doors will open up and you will be able to fly out. But this is just right now, you know, just to test the game, test out, uh, look uh, around, see how well the game runs, um, and so on and so forth. Get a feeling for the game, trying to convince you, hey man, you should really be investing into this game because it's going to be something big. And if I remember correctly, this game is going to be free to play, if I remember correctly. Don't quote me on that, that's what I think it's going to be, but... Uh, low is that like uh, purchase all these different editions or purchase something get unique ships and so on and so forth which if it's really going to be free to play as i think it is then this game is going to be fucking mind-blowing for the pc community and like i said i think this game could honestly run on the playstation 4 and xbox one at 720p with a solid 30 frames per second i know pc games are going to be like oh god that's terrible but for console gamers that's actually going to be pretty badass because then they get to try out this next Gen Sky Fi Space Slim slash first person shooter because this game also is going to have first person shooter mechanics for certain missions. Like, if you get uh, like into a abandoned space station, there might be hostiles there and so on and so forth, other players. So, uh, yeah, the game has a lot of potential. All right, so it looks like we finally made it into space. After that loading, I think that needs to be patched a little bit because it took a little bit too long to load, especially since I have this game installed on an SSD. So uh, yeah, here we are in my cockpit in space. Looks pretty badass. All right, uh, that's how you uh, speed up. Switch the uh, perspective here into fur person. Space, they can't hear you scream. And the graph of the game really looks nice. Whoa, the spaceship's kind of flying wonky.
But yeah, as you can tell, this is pretty damn big. Let's see how far down we can go to the planet's surface and let's go back in first person. That was a different perspective view, which also looks pretty badass. Here you see my character. Here you hear the uh, little engines going off, which is also neat. Alright, there we go, I'm first person again. So we're going at top speed at the moment. Here are my little guns. Up. Oh, that must be the. You are approaching simulation boundary. Alright, so that must be the surface end there, so we can't go any deeper down. Alright, I get it, I get it, I get it. Uh, why are we... St I was about to say, are we still flying backwards? That would be just weird. You are approaching simulation boundary. I know, I am. Oh yeah, this game really looks stunning and has a lot of potential. At the moment, I think the flight mechanics are a little bit wonky, in my opinion. Like, they don't feel as smooth as some other games I've played. Let's go back in third person. Well, they're not bad. I'm sure that they can get those kinks out here in the future. Let's go back in first person. Just because of uh, well, cockpit view. I really miss games that just don't uh, put the cockpit view in games anymore. Like uh, Battlefront 1 had it. And then Star Wars Battlefront 2, they took that out for some reason. Which I thought was a big disappointment. Because I actually enjoyed seeing the interior of the X-Wing and stuff. But yeah, I like the detail on this ship. Like, you uh, have your speed meter, your health meter, and stuff. See, you see my little cockpit and shit, like, uh, vibrating like crazy because I was really close to that, uh, what was it? Planet Miner, wherever the hell that is. Which also looks really stunning. And it's just fly down along with it. You also see the lights on top of my HUD glow if I'm, like, too close to something that's dangerous, like collision warning and so on and so forth. God, I'm losing control. Ah! I love that. I, that just adds so much detail into the game. I'm going in. I know uh, some of the asteroids are destructible too. I'm not sure if it's including the uh, free weekend trial or not. But I've seen videos about them being able to destroy uh, some of the asteroids. All right, I know, I know. Collision alert. Yeah, I got it. I got it. Don't worry. I know how to fly. Usually I'm alright at flying games. Oh yeah, this is uh, Star Citizen. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video here, and I'll probably do some more if I get invited again and have some different things to do. But yeah, this game really looks graphically stunning and runs really, really well. So, until next time, catch you guys later. Peace.